Angela. I'm Mick. And we are Our, Our Family Place Games. Games. Yeah. <laughs> and welcome back to another week. In spooky time. <laughs> in spooky time. Yeah. Yes. This is the month yes. of October. Yes. And we're going to get a little bit more spooky yes. as we go along. Yes. Next yes. week we're going to do a Halloween yes. episode. Yes. And I am ready, family. And so am I. Yeah. You know, she's doing costumes, family. You can't she's miss doing next week. No, you can't miss Don't next miss week. Don't miss next week. Yeah, because I'm ready. We're going to have some well, fun. Well, I was ready last year. You always, I was ready last you're, you're year. You're always ready for yes, Halloween. I am always ready always. for Halloween. But yes. that's next week. That's next Let's week. Let's talk about this week. Yes. We have surpassed our 200th episode. Yes. So now we're at 201. We're going to keep rolling. We're going to keep going. We're going to keep <laughs> this party going, family. Yes. yes. So this week, we're going to focus on the games we played recently. Yeah, we selected a few games yeah. that we played that we want to talk about because yeah. they were interesting, some not uh, that interesting. You know, yeah, we'll, we'll talk we'll about talk it. We'll talk about, about it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we get into all that good stuff, uh -huh. let's hear a word from our awesome sponsors. Yes. Cephal Affair Games. Yes. And KTBG. Here we go, family. Cephal Affair Games is on a quest to make super amazing games that minimize randomness and reward player savvy. Their big claim to fame is their legacy style dungeon crawler, Gloomhaven, and other games in the universe, such as Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion, Founders of Gloomhaven, Gloomhaven Forgotten Circles, and their latest entry into the world, Frosthaven, which is an even bigger adventure. Cephal Affair Games has expanded into new and exciting spaces, such as comics, video games, and audio. Bring the fantasy to life with Cephal Affair Games. How do you spell fun? KTBG. Delight your friends and family with games from Kids Table Board Gaming, such as Creature Comforts, Power Plants, and Dice Veggies. Make your family game night an event everyone will look forward to, because KTBG spells fun for the entire family. To view their entire catalog, visit KidsTableBG.com. Yeah, during that campaign, the mm -hmm. recent campaign yeah. that was very successful, they showed a little bitty board game, mm -hmm. uh, you know, because you know they got the big ones. They got the big ones that fall <laughs> on you and crush you. Yes, you know, they got the big ones. But this was Gloomhaven Buttons and Bugs, mm -hmm. a little side story uh -huh. where the big adventurers, mm -hmm. they get shrunk, mm -hmm. and they got to fight their way back to get big again. Oh, so wow. I'm, I'm excited about yes. that one. Yeah, I'm excited about that one. And you know we love our friends at Kids Table yes, Board Gaming. Yes, we do. Yes, we <laughs> With do. With all of their awesome family games, yes. like their newest one, Dice Veggies. Yes. Yes. And they've got Wasabi coming out. Yes. It's you coming know. soon. It's coming soon yes. to Kickstarter. Yes. And yes, of course, yes. our family favorite, Creature Comfort. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. So please check out our sponsors. Please do. Please do. <laughs> Support them, please. Yes. Support them. Yeah. So next we have Ask, Ask or PG. PG. questions do we have this week? Two good ones. Okay. Now this is an interesting one. Okay. Courtney Ray from YouTube. Hey Courtney. <laughs> she asked, mm -hmm. Starla mentioned using two truths and a lie yeah. as an icebreaker. You do use that a I, lot. I love you that. Do, you yeah. do. Can you give us one for each of you mm. and see if we as the audience, as our OBG family, can guess the lie? So ladies okay. first. So you I guess we'll, we'll give them the answers next week? Yes, we'll give them the okay. answers next week. All right, week. so yes, we'll put it yes, out there and yes. see who can guess. Yes. All right, so for me, mm -hmm. two truths and a lie. Two okay. truths and a lie. Okay, first, okay. Um, I'm a graduate of Grambling University from mm. Louisiana. Okay. Uh, two, I was a ballet dancer. 
Okay. Through most of my teenage years, I, I took ballet and I danced on point. And, okay. Yeah, ballet. Okay. And let's see, what's another good one for mm, me? Mm. Um, well, uh, I'm a graduate of the high school for performing and visual arts, and I love to sing. Okay. That's some, that's some good ones. That's some good that's ones. Good ones. <laughs> All right, here's mine. Here's mine. Okay. I love history. I've okay. always, when I was growing, I just love history. Yeah. You remember the old world book encyclopedias? Mm -hmm. I used to go through there just to look at the history and stuff. Love used, history? I love history. Okay. Another one. I enjoyed math in school. I just oh. enjoyed doing math. Mm -hmm. That was some fun stuff. I can see that. Enjoyed mm -hmm. it. Yes, okay. I did. Okay. And then the last one, I used to play golf a long time ago. I used to play some really? stuff out of golf. Did you really? Yes, I did. Wow. I used to play some stuff out of golf. I loved it. Wow. Loved it, loved it. So there you go, there family. There you go. Figure there it out. Go. What's Figure true out and what's not. Which one? <laughs> We're lying about. Yes. Which one? So yes. what you need to do is in your comments, put yes. in which one is the lie, or you can tell us which ones are the truth. However yeah. you want to do However it. However you want to do it. Tell us Let us one. know, family. <laughs> Let us know. All right. So See, you've been listening. Yes. About so listening we have anything else? That. Yes. Corlu. Hey, Corlu. Hey, Corlu <laughs> from YouTube. Okay, oh, this is okay. an interesting one. Okay. Very weird <laughs> and very interesting. What is QT's favorite game box to sit in? Oh, what QT. is it? Well, I mean, he gets what, everywhere. Where is QT? You know, he's, he's, he's somewhere. He's everywhere. He's but, somewhere. Okay. All right, Coralou, we okay. discourage QT uh -huh. from getting into the game box. Yes. It's a bad habit, and we don't want him to get used to having yes. that habit. Oh, there he is. Come here, little well, QT. He, he heard his name. Yes, he is QT. He heard his name. Yeah, we try to keep QT out of the game boxes. Now, he likes to get on the boxes and kind of like perch on the boxes and stuff. He does. But we. we Yes, he does. Okay, yeah. But we discourage him from getting in the boxes. Yes, he can't get yes, in the boxes. Yes, and when we're playing yes. games, we don't let him on the table. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah. There we go. Yes. There we go, Coralou. <laughs> All right, QT. All right, go ahead. Yeah, scamper right. off. There he's, you go. He's, scampering. he's scampering off, family. He's scampering <laughs> off. So yes. Yes. yes, that's it. That's it. That's okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> now, Stola, well, I, I don't have my merch <laughs> on today because it's all good in the neighborhood, <laughs> Sesame Street. Oh, yeah. Yes, I love it. I that love it. It takes us back. It takes us back. <laughs> even back to Grant. Yes, you know? even back to Grant. Back yes. to us and yes. Grant. We it's did all Sesame good. Street. I say it's all good in the hood. It is. Yeah, it's all good in the hood. Right. But. With our merch. Okay, well, if you're looking for what a shirt it? for yes. Our Family Plays Games yes. or RPG Voices, uh -huh. check us out on Spring. Yes. We've got cups and yeah. shirts Everything. and hoodies yeah. and posters. Uh -huh. Check us out on Spring. Check us out. That keeps <laughs> us going, too, family. That keeps yeah. us going, too. All right, so next we have some board game news. Here we go. Mick, what do we have in the news this week? Oh my goodness, we have to hear a sound effect every week. Dun, dun! That's the triumphant return. Oh my god. The triumphant return. Yes. Where, where did it go? We missed it last week. Oh, that's right. Yes, it was a little sad. Somebody but, said it was sad. I, I don't think we missed somebody it. Somebody <laughs> said last week it was a sad little thing, and I, I totally agree, family. But I didn't miss it. But we are back to the triumphant <laughs> return. Yes. That's what that was? Yes, it was. Uh, okay. Yes. yes. So here we go. Here we go. Board game news. I okay. just got a couple things. Okay. Now, CoolStuffInc.com. Okay. You've probably heard that sometimes, mm -hmm. family, because they had they had a big board gaming, you know, online retail store going. They had some six brick and mortars. But recently, they have phased out board games and RPGs from their online and brick and mortar stores. Wow. It was a strategic decision to get rid of all that mm -hmm. and to just keep, you know, card games like Magic the Gathering, oh. Pokemon, and Lacana. Mm -hmm. Well, they're going to make a mint off of Lacana by yeah. itself, so you know. Mm -hmm. And Magic the Gathering and Pokemon. Yeah, but well, you know, they're, yeah, they're going to make some money. <laughs> but they got rid of all, you know, mm -hmm. the, the two categories, those two categories, RPGs mm -hmm. and board games, they were pretty heavy in. Yeah. You know, they were really heavy. And then all of a sudden, they got rid of it. But then they bought into this Quartermaster Direct division, which is basically a company that helps with crowdfunded games through the Quartermaster Logistics division. Oh. So they're still kind of in board games and stuff on the crowdfunding side. But really for their business business, mm -hmm. they're just doing card games. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. They're just doing card games. Okay. Now, my second thing, this is pretty cool. Okay. In the Deseret News mm -hmm. from Utah, from Utah, oh. 
it was an article in that news mm -hmm. that said the AARP mm -hmm. and others suggest games, board games, boost well-being for all ages, but especially for lonely older folk. Oh. Yes. And that is mm -hmm. good because we keep saying, mm -hmm. you know, this is a lifestyle and it can mm -hmm. really help a lot of people. I agree. You know, and, and now we're talking about, you know, older folks who might feel be a little lonely. Yeah, especially if, you know, they've got solo variants yes. to games. Yes. So if you're at home, you can play a game by yourself if yes. you don't want to go online. So I think that's good. That's true. But they're mm. talking about connections, making connections. Oh. You know, the AARP mm. reported that playful activities such as board gaming mm -hmm. can be helpful in creating meaningful connections with others. I agree. I agree. Totally yes, agree. Go to a board gaming event. Yes. You know, no matter night. how old you are, family. Yes, a convention. Because yeah. mm -hmm. I'm going to be 80. I'm still going. <laughs> I'm going to be 80. I'm going to be 80, 90 years old. I'm still wheel me up. Wheel me up to that table. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll talk about that in another forty what? years or what? so. Let's what? wait. Wheel me let's up. Wait, let's wait till yeah. you get there. Wheel me up. <laughs> yeah. Now, in in the survey that they put out, six percent of adults fifty and older said playing board games helped them to connect with others. Uh -huh. True, especially among women, seventy percent compared to men, sixty percent. Hmm. The other advantage to playing together is how natural how natural memories come up. Because, you know, you're talking, playing, yeah. and say, oh, you remember that? You know, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. People tell stories about their lives to each other. Yeah. You know, older adults share positive memories, mm -hmm. conversation sparkles, mm -hmm. and laughter begins. I love yes, it. Yes, I love that. I love it. I too. love that was it. A great piece. Love it. Yeah, that was yes. good. Thanks for sharing no that. No problem. That You're good. trying to find some good news out <laughs> yeah. there. You know, we, we love good news. We need some good news, family. Yes, we do. Yes, so is we that do. It for you? Yeah, that's it, that's it for okay. me. That's it for me. So, for me. As you know, I always want to let you guys know that we have yes. an OFPG Voices episode that's Oof. available. Oof. That's episode 44. Oof. We're still in Halloween. This one is a little scary. <laughs> we're, this we're one in the Halloween is a little time. scary. So, yes, our, our contributors went all out with their spookiness. But one of them <laughs> might have been taken over by a spirit. I think one of them been taken over by spirit. You I'm scared. You guys gotta check it out and see. I'm scared, family. I'm scared. Now, next, our next episode is November 8th, and yes. we'll be in a whole different theme. Oh, yes. We're looking at Thanksgiving yes. and being thankful, yes. and of course, fall. Yeah. So be sure yeah. to check out November 8th when we put out our next episode. Yes, yes. Now, our next event that we're coming up to is Cardboard Caucus uh -huh. in Des Moines, Iowa, yes. and we will be there Next weekend, October 27th to the 29th. So if you're anywhere in the area, get your tickets, contact Cardboard Caucus, come see us. We're going to do a, a live event as we always do. As we always do. Yeah, and we'll be there playing games with everybody. So come on out and say hi and check us out. Come on, check us out. And then after that, we will be at BGG Con Fall. Yes. And that is from uh, November 15th to the 19th in Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas, baby. So yes. come on out to BGG Con Fall. It's going to yes. be at the Hyatt Regency. Yes. We had so much fun yes, at BGG did. Con yes, last we year. Did. And we are so looking forward yes. to going back again this year. We're also looking forward to Cardboard Caucus, but we are really looking forward to BGG. We're going to do a show there, too. Yes. A live show we there, do too. A show. Yes, we're going to be yeah. doing our thing. And, and again, we're still working on the Kickstarter campaign. Yes, we are. So yes, we are. If you have pledged, you should get an email from us talking about what's going on with the campaign. But thank you guys so much for your support. Love y'all. Love y'all. That's all I have right now. So we are going to go into the heart of the episode. Here we go. All right, we've made it to the heart of the episode. Yes, we have. So we have seven games. Yes, we kind of picked around. Yes. Yes. Of, yes. That we've played recently. Yes. That we want to talk about a little bit. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Yeah, a little we're gonna bit. delve yes. into them a little deeper. Yeah, yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Now you know when I do a list, I always put it in alphabetical order. Yeah. So I did the same thing with this. So nothing's, you know, you don't put anything like this. We like this more no. than the other one. You no know, favoritism. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing like that. Yes. It's just alphabetical order. Yes. So we're gonna kick it off with the first one on our list. Chunk. Yes, Chunk, the little bitty game. The from little all box play. game from all yes, play. Yes. It is a one to four player game. Came out in 2023. Yes, brand new. It's brand new. And yeah. this game, you are playing with carnivores and herbivores. Little cards. Little cards. You know, like they, no, they're really, they're kind of. No, they're, of, they're cards. Yeah, they're big cards. Yeah, because you, yeah. you got to cover up different uh, areas of the cards. Yes, you do. So yes. you've got these carnivores and herbivores. And so you've got to feed your dinosaurs. Yes, you do. And if you don't feed your carnivores, they just might eat the herbivores. Yes, they will. 
<laughs> yes. So, but you, you want to make sure that, that, you know, the carnivores have meat. Yes. And that the mm -hmm. herbivores have plants. Have vegetation. That's yes. correct. Yes. You got, and then you have, you know, the other cards because the cards are double-sided. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one side is, you know, all the, you know, the, mm -hmm. the you know, the dinosaurs and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the other side are goals that you can meet. Yes. You know, in-game goals mm -hmm. that... You know, get you more points. Yes. Yes. And so you're building up a little tableau with your little dinosaurs, and you just got to make sure yeah. that your herbivores have vegetation yes. and your carnivores have meat. Because when everything ends at the end of that round, if those uh, carnivores don't have uh, some meat around them, they're going to eat up all your herbivores. Or, or they go extinct. And oh, if that's true. And herbivores that's don't true. have there's no any, food. If they don't have, there's no food, <laughs> that's right. they go extinct. They go extinct. They die. <laughs> and you get no points, family. Yes. So Chomp is interesting. Yeah. Now, it was a, it's a cute little game. It is a cute game. And, and did you like it? I did. I, I mean, I thought it was interesting yeah. to play. Yes. Um, I'm not sure if it's something I'll run back to. Really? I mean, but if somebody say, hey, you want to play Chomp? I, yeah. I'd play it. Yeah. But it's not one of those that I'm going to say, oh, I, let's put it on the table. There, I think there are other games out there that I like a lot yeah, more. Yeah. But what, um, what kind of tile, you know. It's a tile game. It's a tile lane yeah, game. It's a kind tile of, game. Yeah. So, and there's better ones right. out there. But for the small, you know, it's a small box. Mm -hmm. Not that expensive. Not that expensive. You know, about, you know, about 20, 24 and, bucks. You know you what? Know. There are people out there that are really dinosaur lovers. Yeah, and they'll love this. Oh, they're going to love They'll love it. Yeah. They're and then love it's it. also a small box mm -hmm. where you can carry around. Yeah. So you can just pop it out like, oh, you know, mm -hmm. we don't have nothing to do. Let's pop it out and you can you can carry that anywhere. And it is a cute game. It's easy to teach. Yes, colorful. You know, it's very colorful, colorful yes. quick to learn. But I mean, yes. I, I, I should say that, you know, I don't dislike it, yeah. but it's not one that I'm going to run to. There yes. are others on our list that I would run to. Yes. Yeah, say, there's yes. others. That's I want to play this right that's now. That's a small box game. <laughs> small yeah. box. Yeah. yeah, but that's Chomp. So that's check chump. it out yeah. from All Play. And yes. again, if you love dinosaurs, you're going to like and this. And it's a fun game. Now, I, I liked it. So oh, it's oh, a fun oh, game. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Now, the second one is Cosmic Encounters. Yes. Fantasy Flight Games 2008. Now, yes, we, <laughs> I, I, you know, it was a sale. Uh huh. And I think you saw the other yeah, a couple yeah, of we, uh, episodes we ago. This, yeah. It was a sale. Mm -hmm. And I said, let me get this classic negotiation uh -huh. game. Yeah. So I got it. Mm -hmm. And we opened it, but we haven't played it. But then we were at an event mm -hmm. and we were lucky that someone brought their Cosmic Encounter, yes, yes. and we were a able to play We've it. We've got a couple of nice gamers yes, yes. Uh, that brought their copy. Um, it was and Tito. We, Tito, yes. Yeah, Tito. And, they brought and the, Sarah. And, yeah, Sarah, and they yeah. brought their copy, and Tito loves the game. Yes, he does. And he taught us how to play it. And we had a nice full table. It was what, six yes, of us. It was six of us. Playing this yes, game. Yes, yes. And it was a lot of fun. And we got interrupted at one point. Had to stop the game yes, and come yes. back. But we just picked up where we left off. And, and it's a fun game. It's a fun game. Where, you know, everybody have their own individual mm -hmm. alien powers. Because mm -hmm. you're all aliens. Yes. And you're trying to get enough planets to win the game. I think you got to get about five planets or something like well, that. Well, the object of the game is to establish colonies in other players' yes. planetary systems. Yes. The winner... Winners are the first players to have five colonies yes. on any planet outside yes. of his or her home system. And it's crazy because you have to attack a planet. Mm -hmm. When it's your turn, mm -hmm. you, you, you you pick a card yeah. that tell you which player that you're going to attack. Mm -hmm. And you can either attack or negotiate. Yes. Now, if you're going to attack, you got to ask you gotta other players. You got to get people to come with you. You got to ask other <laughs> players, come with me. You got to negotiate because mm -hmm. they're going to say, well, if, everybody wants if I help you attack, you know, such and such, what you gonna do for me? Yeah. Are you will you never attack me? Or you gonna give me something? Give me some cards? You, you or something? can make some loose alliances. Ooh, it is so much fun. Loose alliances. It is so much. You can. It, yes. it can be loose. <laughs> It can be very loose. I mean, because some people may or may not keep their word because, I mean, nothing's written in stone. Well, now, you know, uh, Jared, you know, we love Susie and Jared. Yeah. They, was, they were playing with us, uh, some OPG family. Now, Jared, he was loyal, and I was loyal to him. <laughs> yeah. We were loyal. We yeah. were loyal together. Yeah. So we stuck, we, you know, I didn't attack him. He didn't attack you know, it, me. It kinda, but when I attacked somebody, he came on. When he attacked somebody, I helped you know, him it, out. It kind of came out to be kind of like guys against girls because, yeah, you know, me was. and Susie and Sarah kind of stuck together a little bit. Because it was too. like, it was three guys <laughs> on and one three side. Gals. Three yeah, women, yeah, we were yeah. women and men on the side. So it, but it was fun. I it think was fun. what makes the game is 
the negotiation yes. and yes, building alliances. Yes, it is. That makes the game. That makes the game. That makes the game. You know, but it is a huge game. Because it's you know it could be a take that mm -hmm. or a help or you know mm -hmm. you can negotiate or, you know you can negotiate. Yes. I love that. Yes. And it's so much player interaction. Yes. It is crazy. And it's a, it's a lot of variation yes. because you got all these different alien with variable powers that yes. you can become. And I think what it is, this game is so huge. When you put it on the table, yes. it has table presence yes, for it days. Because when we were playing it, people would walk by. What, what, what are y'all playing? What are y'all doing? I, I thought it was a lot of fun. It's yeah. not the typical game for me. Okay. It's not something. It's not the typical game. I was surprised yeah, that you were playing. Yeah, it's not typically something I, was I would surprised play. You liked it. Yeah. But I actually had fun with it. Yeah. I really you did. You know, like you know, Tito. Love you, Tito. <laughs> now he had every expansion for the game. Yes, he did. So he had a stack of alien yes. uh, races. <laughs> About you know a yeah, alien yeah. factions, uh, factions about yeah. this big. You know he had about about a hundred or something. I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot. Was a lot. Did, you know he just had a bunch. Now in the base game is fifty. Yeah. Yeah. So, but that's a lot too. That's it's a lot. Fifty. Yeah. You know that's fifty. So yeah. we go. You can do a lot with that. But, but you know what this goes to show. What. This game came out in 2008. And we and people still you, we playing. We cannot it. sleep on a game. No, we cannot. Just because it's an older game. It's, the game hasn't yeah. lost its value. It hasn't lost its playability just because it was made in 2008. I think so so often people run to the yes. new and forget the old. Even though when you yeah. purchase this game like we needed another game, I wasn't so happy that you brought another game into the house when we have so many in the house. But now mm. that I've played it, yes, I enjoy see, it. Yes, see, that's the key. You gotta play it to appreciate. We, we could yes. just play Tito's copy. We didn't have to. <laughs> we didn't have to have a copy. Of no, we own. need a copy of our own. <laughs> but you know that says a lot. Where you know. In this hobby, mm -hmm. I fear yeah. we are running yeah. so much for the new. Yeah. You know, we are just, mm -hmm. we want the new, new, new right mm -hmm. now. You know, we look at the BGG hotness yeah. and say, I want those first 10 right <laughs> now. You know, and I don't care. You know, everything yeah. else is, you know, you can throw away. I want, the, you know, the but new, you know new, what? new. If the game was created in 2008 or, or 1998, if yeah. you have not played it, yeah. it's new to you. It's new to, and that's new. <laughs> a cosmic Encounter new is new to, to us. Yes. And I like it. And we enjoy it. Yes, we enjoy it. All right, so All right. next on our list is another small box game yes, from all from play, all play yes. called couture, couture. Oh. now in couture you take on the role of a fashion model yes and as you hit the runways of new york paris and tokyo you're trying to build a career yes now this is one of those small boxes like i said with chomp i like chomp yes I love Couture. Yes, because that's a card game. It's a card it's game. It's a betting, it's an auction oh my God. betting card game. It is so much fun. It is so much fun. And it's one of those, the little box of fool you, because you look at the artwork, it's kind of, kind of to me, kind of abstracty. It's not really it's colorful. Kind of abstract yeah. But yeah. when you put it on the table, you start playing, and you got your models you, Yeah, you there, feel like it's, it's you it's, feel, like the, the, theme, the, theme, it, comes the theme comes through. The theme comes through, yes. It comes through. Yes. Now, this is a three to six player game. Yes. Lots of fun. Because you need something to bet. You got to yeah, bet. Got, yeah, you got to bet. Have people, yeah, yeah you got an auction, you know, yeah, it's an so auction. Yeah. You got a lot of in game bonuses, you got yes. some hand management things going on, but all play hit it out the park with this. And, and, it's, and it's, it's hand management big time. Big time. You got to keep on hand because you, you got to get rid of cards, uh -huh. you take cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot of, you know, trying to see what you're yeah. doing with your, you know, your card play. It's one of those yeah. boxes or one of those games that'll surprise you. Yes, you it said, will. Oh, small box couture. Because yeah. when we put it on, we really didn't have any on the table, we didn't really have any real expectations for no, it. No. We just said, Oh, we got it, let's try it. Let's try it out. Then we started playing it they were like, like oh, oh i want to play this again yeah it was so much it was so fun. much fun and like yes. i said the theme gets you and even if you know you're not into fashion yes. i think you can still enjoy this yes the way they you know designed it you'll still enjoy yes. it yeah couture. because this is one of all plays uh, another one of the little small, small box, box games, games because yeah. they're kind of doing those now mm -hmm. but this one really hit home this I one i'll play anytime. Yeah, that one right there love this family game. Couture. Love, love, love. Woo. And now, now we have another small box. A little small box game from All Play, <laughs> All Play. Uh, called Dandelions. Dandelions, yes. Now this one, mm -hmm. you know, it uh, was made in 2022. Yeah, and now it's this two one, to three players. The players roll yeah. a group of dice. And yes. then you have to choose one to move to a beautiful garden. Yeah, you move Along around. the way, you can harness the power of the wind and special actions. Like you can float, puff, and gust to get the most points. And in the end, after all the dice are used, whoever receives the most victory points wins. Now this yeah. game is an area majority game. Yes, yeah, so where you're using yeah. the dice to you know go around, mm -hmm. you manipulate the dice. Yeah. Very 
very gateway. It's it's very it's gateway. Very light. It, it was a cute it's little concept, dandelions, light. you know, because the dandelions you can float and all that stuff. It, yes. it was cute. It's another one of those. I wouldn't say no to playing it. Well, but it's not. One I, I wouldn't say no, but I'm not yeah. really gonna run for I'm it. I'm not gonna and run I, for I, it. <sighs> since it's so light. You know, it may be not right yeah. for our collection, yeah. but it might be right for somebody else. Yeah, I mean, yeah. especially, you know, if you just want something really like to play. Yeah. But it's a cute game. Cute it's a cute concept. Game. It's a cute concept. But I think where we are with gaming, it just may be a little light for us. It's a little light. A little light. It's a little light. Yeah, just a little, a little bit. But, I, but it's cool. It's, it's, it, you know, for people just getting into yeah. the hobby... Are you know some people mm -hmm. that you want to kind of bring into the hobby? This is a you perfect gift for Christmas. Yeah, perfect yeah. gift for Christmas. I think so too. You know, you know, so just give so that. Too. You can just slide that <laughs> over to them. You know, like in a little a little box. You know, yeah. So now, I really, so I, that's what I say about dandelions. Yes. Yeah. Now this next one. Um, that, this is all you. This, <laughs> this is next one all is you. Fruto Play. Fruto Play. From Explorate. Yes. And it's a 2023 game. It's I don't a 26 even know if player it's out game. Yet here. Now this game we've uh, got a chance to play. I got a chance to play yes. when we went to the World Series of Board Gaming yes. and we played with uh, the publisher of the game. Mm -hmm. And this is a trick-taking game okay. with simultaneous card selection. Okay. At the start of the game, you create a river of seven target fruit cards okay. that correspond to the seven turns. On a turn, each player considers the tar the current target fruit card, then chooses to play a fruit card of the same type. Okay, so I played this game okay. uh, one time, and it's, it's a cute game. I loved it. So okay. you've got all these different fruits. So, for example, if you play a fruit card with the number 10 on it, mm -hmm. and it's, it's a banana. So you want to play, the other people want to play a card that's close to that number 10. So I'd want to play like a number 9 banana or a number 11 banana so that I can take that trick. Now, if nobody plays a card that's a banana, mm -hmm. then it's going to be the next suit that's closest to that card. And then they have some other cards in there that are bad fruits, and they're all number 13. <laughs> you don't want the bad fruits. They're all number 13. <laughs> all number 13. The bad fruits are number 13. 13. You don't want the bad fruits. You want 13. You don't want the bad fruits because they make you lose uh, points in the end from mm -hmm. your tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's a fun little game. I, I thought it was interesting. I think the artwork is quirky. It's colorful. It is but, quirky and colorful. But it's something I want to play again. Really? Because that's, that's what I was going to ask you. I want did to play you, it again. Was it so appealing that you want to play it again? Yes. I love trick-taking games. Yes, you do. So it's basically just a trick-taking game. It's a trick-taking game. game. Okay. With fruit. <laughs> now, now let me ask you now, is it a trick-taking game that you can get anywhere? Like, we could replace that with something else? Or? I don't, I, you know, we don't, I don't like to replace. I don't okay. think any game I'm replaces saying, yeah. something That's else. That's true. That's true. But it's a game that I would introduce new players to. Okay. Uh, they introduced it to me. I picked yeah. it up really quickly. Yeah. Um, so I think anybody could learn to play it, but it's a cute game. I'm not sure if, if it's out or not here because the one we have, we the the design, the publisher gave us a copy of yes. it, and yes. it's in French. But we we got the English. We yeah, got we got the, the English, English rules. Yeah. But I mean, again, we can still play the game because yeah. the numbers are numbers. I think it's coming over here soon. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you can still play the game. The rules yeah. are in French. You just have to find English rules. Yeah. But the cards themselves are just numbers and fruits, so yeah. you can still yeah. play it. Yeah. But I thought it was fun. Really? I did. Because I, I do want to play that. I enjoyed fruit you know, to play. Fruit to play. <laughs> I want to play that because it sounds interesting. Yes. And it sounds is not so burdenous where you know a lot of rules and it's just. You can just play it like you that. You can play it yeah. like that. Just keep the bad fruits yeah. out your hand. Just keep the bad fruits, <laughs> the 13s, out your hand. Keep out your hand. Now, the next one is what I play. It's on you. Yes. And it's Seas of Strife. Yes. And this is a trick-taking game, it's a trick -taking too. trick-taking game, yeah. But in this one, you don't want the tricks. Oh. You don't want them. Oh. You want to <laughs> avoid the tricks. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it was so crazy because we were sitting down there and it was Tony. He was, uh, yeah. you know, he had the game and he was telling us about it. And he said, now this one, you do not want the tricks. You were like, what? What do you mean we don't want the tricks? He said, you're trying to stay away from all the tricks yeah. in this game. Well, you should have done well with that one. No, I didn't. I did bad. I was getting <laughs> tricks. Left, right, center. <laughs> You know. Now, when we play trick-taking games and we need tricks, you don't get the tricks. I know. And now you got to get this one. You, you're trying to avoid the tricks. You avoid the tricks, and you still didn't do good. With I that. didn't do oh. good. Now the art is really cool. It's by Beth Sobel. Oh. You know, so it's it's really you know it's really good. That's it's nice. Re it's yeah. really nice. And and what it says is that you know whoever played the highest card of the color wins the trick. Yeah. You play several rounds until someone reaches the target number of tricks taken. Whoever have captured the fewer tricks mm. wins. So you don't want tricks. No, you don't want tricks. <laughs> and you, you get to a certain number, that's it. And you better not have all those tricks. But it's a really fun game. Okay. 
okay, well, I'll have to play that. Now, it was, it's originally play. was made in 2015, yeah. and it's still coming around now. So, oh. hey, it's a good game. Yeah. I, it's one of those, it may be a little bit older, but it's yes. still going to be new to me because I haven't played yes, it. Yes, and it's Real Grande Games brought it back. Okay. Yes, and now, now the last one is one yes. that we both really we like. We love. Yes. And that is The White Castle. Yes, everybody's by talking about it. Yes, we know. <laughs> yes. We know. It's a, a one to four player game that came out in 2023. And we got a chance to play this game at the World Series of Board Gaming yes. with Tom Vassell. Yeah, he taught us. He taught, he taught us, us the game. Yeah, he taught us, yeah. And I am totally in love with this game. Yeah, DeVere, they they, they knocked it out the park with this Totally one. in love. Knocked it out the park. Yes. You've got dice workers, and then yes. you've got meeples. Yes. And, <laughs> so. you know, and you're trying to manipulate the dice. Yes. To get, you know, to get as many rounds as you can, as many turns as you can. Yeah. And many combinations because there's only what four rounds. Four rounds. Four rounds mm -hmm. to do everything, and they say it's a total of maybe nine turns that yeah. you have. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to do as many combos on your turn to keep it going. Well, okay, it's actually three rounds during oh, the game. Three over rounds. three rounds, players will send members of their clan to tend the gardens, defend the castle, or progress up the social ladder of nobility. Yes. That's what it says. Yes, and it's, it's, it's no joke. <laughs> and, 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 and all of the mechanics, when you go to BGG's list for mechanics, yes. the only mechanic they really list is worker placement. placement. That's and it. that is up my alley. I yes. love a worker and it placement is. It's, game. It's worker placement. It's placement. Yeah. And then you, also, you put out a worker, you get something. Now, it's also re resource management. Well, true. You have to manage those yeah. resources because you, you do get, have a little Because you got to uh, get resources, you have your resources to be able to do stuff. Yes. Yes, you got to have and, resources. And I like that they have yes. the resources on a board. You just put them up the track yeah, if yeah. you get something. Yeah. Or you move it down the track if you have to uh, spend something. But it's really just worker placement. You put your worker out there and you get something. And I love those kinds yeah. of things. Yeah. And it's really, it's a beautiful yeah. production. Beautiful production. Well, I mean, the Veer Games does their thing. Yeah, they quality. do their thing. Yeah, it's totally it's really quality. quality. And it's a lot of fun. Yes. It's, I, I really think it's a medium weight game. I don't think. Really? I do. I, I don't think know. so. I think it's a you little think bit. It's I, I think don't it's think it's gateway. Little, was high medium. It's no, you mean low medium. No, it's it's a little hot. Oh, you think it's more? You think yeah, it's tougher I than th medium? I th well, it's medium, I, 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 but I think it's a medium it's kind weight of a game. Heavyweight, medium kind you of. You think sorta. it's heavyweight? Yeah, because you got to. There's a lot of stuff going on in that game. A little I bit. I didn't think it was heavyweight. You don't think so? No, I thought it was more of a medium weight game okay. where you got to right. be a little bit above gateway to really understand what you're doing. Okay. But it's okay. not one of those strategy games that's a brain burner. For no, you. it's not a brain burner. Yeah. So to me, but, the brain burners are those heavy games for me. Now, hold on now. Yeah. It is a brain burner when you're at that last <laughs> round and you're trying to figure out how to get more points when you look like you're about to lose. But that's not a brain burner at that point. It's too late. It's too late. <laughs> I mean, if you haven't got your points by the uh, last it's too round, late. Well, you're it's trying to late. figure out, like, hold up. <laughs> you, you, I got to figure what's going you can't on. You make it up something out of nothing. I got to see what's going on. Hold <laughs> on. If I can get some more, you know, get some more stuff. It's too late now. I, I can mm -hmm. maybe get, you know, my warriors over here somewhere, you know, yeah. <laughs> right. Or get my courtesans. What is it? The courtesans yeah. up? Get you know, <laughs> into the White Castle, get them up, you know, but well, it, it is a fun game. It's a fun it's game. It's a fun game. You know, we really appreciate Tom for taking yes. the time to teach yes. us the game. Yes. He ended up winning the game. Yes, by one point over Stalin. Now, I have to one say, point. Tom, when you're teaching, you shouldn't win if you're teaching. Re really? <laughs> That's right. As a teacher, you should be helping the so people. I, so I'm doing it right. I teach and I lose. Yes, so I that do is it right. correct. Yes. yes. And when I learn, I lose. <laughs> So somebody has to win. No, but we had a lot of fun. Yes, Tom beat me by one point. One point. One point. So that means a rematch is needed. A rematch is needed, a Tom. A rematch is needed. Yes. Next time we're at a con, you and me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I want to see that again. Because I'm kind of like this uh, on the side over there. But I, I had a lot try. of fun yeah, with that game. it was a good one. So those are the seven games yes. that we played recently. Yes. And I really enjoyed yes. all of them. Dandelions. Mm. You know, a little light, but yeah. everything else I really do Chomp. like. Mm. Yeah, Trump is okay. It's yeah. okay. Now, the surprise, Cosmic Encounter. Yes. Cosmic Encounter. It was Encounter. a surprise for me, especially wow. because, again, I didn't think I would yeah, like wow. it, but I did. And then also the White Castle just blew me out yes. the water because yes. we had Three Wing Circus. Yeah. You know, it was okay. Yeah. It was okay. But I think, you know, now Three Wing Circus is kind of falling off because the white castle the white castle you know is really like you know it's, everybody's looking yeah, at it I'm, I'm everybody it. it's a really good game and of course we love yes. couture yeah couture oh my goodness oh my god that's love, a good game love, love. love that game all right so yes. check out the list i know Greg's yes. gonna put it up and yes. you know tell us what you think about these games <laughs> yes definitely yes all right so mick what did we get Whew. <laughs>
Let's look at the bar. All right, so we got some games okay. coming through. Let's we got see. a lot, fam. We got a lot. Okay, the first one I haven't heard about, mm -hmm. and it's from Adam's Apple Games, and it is a party game mm -hmm. called Agree to Disagree. Agree and it has disagree. a mechanism where you can lock in your opinion mm -hmm. and you kind of, you know, you test your intuition. Mm -hmm. It's an interesting game. It's, you know, you're trying to go back and forth okay. with, uh, you know, like little, you know, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. Agree to disagree, a Agree party game. Agree to disagree. Yes. Test your intuition. Yes. Okay. It's interesting. Is there a reason why there's tape? I don't know. I don't okay. know. Let's but... see part of the design. I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. All right. All Thank right. you. Now, family, Capstone Games gave us a few games that we're excited about. A few. The first one I am super excited okay. about. Super. <laughs> super. That is the expansion to Ark Nova Marine World. Oh. Okay. We got it, Starla. Yes, we I got love it. Arc Nova. Yes, we love <laughs> Ark Nova, and now we have the Marine World. So now no can, snakes, Starla. I, I was gonna say, so now I can it's work no on snakes. a Marine World without yes. snakes. It's no and snakes. Hopefully, no eels. Yeah, what? Eels. It could be an eel. That looked like an eel oh, right God, there. I look like an eel. So Marine World. Beautiful. Excited. Yeah. Yes, excited. <laughs> now we've heard a lot about this family. A lot about this game. And from uh, Capstone Games, and that's Beer and yes. Bread. It's a two-player only game, mm -hmm. and a lot of people love this game, and I, I definitely want- I have seen people playing yes, this. Yes, I've seen a few play it too. I, I want to see what it's about. Yes. Very interesting looking yes, game. Yes, I want to play this, and yeah. it's an economic game, okay. and I want to do that. Beer so Beer and, and Bread. bread. Two-player games. Yes. You know, we got to get into two-player games again because we used to yes, do a lot of... Yes, we used to do a lot of two-player games, yeah. so this, we're going to do that we're gonna one. We're going to do that Definitely. for sure. Now, I'm really excited about this okay. one. I, hopefully, you'll play it. <laughs> and I don't know. It says, La Familia, uh -huh. The Great Mafia War. <laughs> now, now, what's unique about this one? Okay. We had a game by you know uh, C C G E mm -hmm. that was four player only. Mm -hmm. That was Deal with the Devil. Yeah. This is another one yeah. that's four player only. Oh, gotta you, have four people. You gotta have four people, no, mm -hmm. no doubt. And the interesting thing is two versus two. Oh. So you're gonna be on a team, mm -hmm. uh, and both of y'all gonna control uh, families, yeah. mafia families, and try to kill each other. Mm. And try to gain influence to be the best mafia family. Okay. Yes. Okay. In Sicily. You're doing this in stuff Sicily. in Sicily. Okay. Yes. So I'm excited wow. about this one. It's heavy. It's a lot of stuff going There's on there. There's a lot in here. There's a lot going on. Whoa. So, so La Familia. La Familia. The Great Mafia War. All right. So the next one is the one I'm excited about too. Mm -hmm. A lot of people talked about it. It's Renature. Renature. Renature from Capstone Games. Yes. And it's really pretty oh, game. Wow. Yes, it is. Yeah. And and thank and thank to uh, Capstone Games they gave us uh, the expansion. Oh. Yes. Renature. Now this gave is us interesting to me. Yes. This theme, you know, it's grabs me. It's nature theme, yes. Yeah. Yes, so I'm excited about this, too. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, looks... I, I look forward to this one. Yes, and also with the, uh, you expansion. know, the expansion. Yes. Now, this one, I think you'll be excited about. Okay. Now, it's in the hit, it's in the world of uh, Terra Mystica. Oh. And that's Terra Nova. Oh, Terra Nova. Terra Nova. Now, this is, it's in the Terra Mystica universe. Okay. This is kind of like a gateway game into Terra Mystica. Oh, yes. the one we should have had before we learned it's, it's the one we should have had <laughs> before, before gave we gave us a headache. Yes. <laughs> and I think they were doing that because yeah. they said, well, hey, you know, some people might have difficulty getting into Terra Mystica. Yes. So what, let's give them yeah. kind of like a gateway to that. Yeah. So this is a little bit more lighter oh, than yes. Terra Mystica. So this is Terra Nova. I would love Nova. to give it a try. Yes, I want to give it a try. And maybe you can, yeah. we can help other people get into oh, Terra it, it Mystica. Looks, it really looks a it lot looks, like It looks like Terra, yeah, Mystica, Terra Mystica, but it's oh, just lighter. Lighter. That's, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I, I'm really <laughs> excited about that one. Terra, no, Terra Mystica gave us yeah. a headache the now, first time we yes, played Yes, we did. Yes, it did. Now, this one is called Rise from Capstone Games. Now, this is an exciting one, too. Ooh. A lot of people talk about this one. A nice, uh, you know, economic game okay. that I think you'll like. Okay. You know, now, it's not colorful, Starla. It ain't colorful. It's back in you know it's, you know the industrial revolution thing. I mean, thing. there's color on the board. Well, a little bit. But is it you know really cute and whimsical color? No, it's not color? cute. No, but because it's industrial. Yeah. You but, know. Okay. So, but you, you, you hopefully you like that. Okay. It's, it's economic. Yes, I see. Yeah, it's economic. Yes. Economic and social development of a city. Yes. Okay. Yes. All now, right. this one family is hot. 
<laughs> it's so hot, it, just, it was hot, and it's still hot. It's Wandering Towers, oh, wow. where you're getting towers and you're trying to, you know, capture towers and kind of, you know, cover up, you know, other magicians and stuff, like wizards and stuff. Okay. It's like a little, you know, you're trying to trap wizards and stuff. It's kind of cool. Okay. You got Wandering Towers. Wandering Towers. And, and they also gave us, <laughs> you know, two of the mini expansions. Oh, we they got, got mini, flying towers? Yes, mini expansion one, mini expansion two. So it's going to be a little you fun. You get to trap your wizards? You get to trap your wizards, yes. Okay. And you just go around, you know, trapping wizards and having fun so with Wandering Towers. Wow. Excited Family about that expansion. one. Yes, okay. yes. So that's all from Capstone Games. Wow, thank, thank you, Capstone, Capstone Games. We're excited yes, about trying yes. out these games. Now, Roxley Games, <laughs> okay. you know, sent some stuff. Okay, what are we Now, get? one I'm very excited about because I thought we weren't going to get it, and we got it. Okay. And, and we got, I think we, this is all the cards in there. It's Radlands. It's Radlands. So it's a racing game? Or? No, it's a it's kind of a post-apocalyptic game. Oh. It's a card game. It's a card game. And you okay. go back and forth, you know, mm -hmm. and just fight out two players. Radlands. Yeah. Yep, Radlands. Oh. Yes. And I we think that it. I think that's the big one there. Yeah, I think that got oh, all of them. Yeah. yeah. I think okay. so. Yeah. Radlands. Radlands. Yes. So I'm excited about Radlands. So we can go toe to toe. <laughs> You we know, in post, to, we in post apocalyptic times. We always go toe to toe. So we're doing, what is that, Mad Max? Seems like it. Yes, we're doing Mad Max. <laughs> yes, we are. Now, this one you're aware of. Steampunk yes, Rally. Yes, because we had yes. the original version. And now this and I is love it. Fusion. Oh. This is Fusion. Okay. Yes, so this is Fusion. So this is going to be really cool. Oh, it's a little different. It's a it little different. different from Steampunk yes, Rally. Yes, it's a little different. Okay. Yes. Steampunk it's, Rally is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of dice manipulation. Yes. And yes, so we're going to be doing that again. Oh, wow. Yes, we're going to be doing it. And then they gave us some uh, some more promos. Oh, yeah, promos, Yeah, this is a complete yes. promo pack. Yes, yes, right, the promos. Steampunk. Yes, for okay. Steampunk, Steampunk Rally Fusion. All right. Beautiful, yes, beautiful. Yes, yes. Now this one, family, I am so excited because I want to check it out, and I'm very, very excited about it. I just want to say thank you to Dire Wolf because I am excited about it. And this is Doom, Doom, Imperium Uprising. Doom, yes. Imperium now, Uprising. Now, family, I definitely want to check it out because th this is the one where they said it's kind of... Dune, a uh, Dune Imperium, I guess 1.5 or you know something like that, because <laughs> you can use everything from Dune Imperium yeah. in this one, okay, and then all the new stuff. So wow. it's kind of just a you're getting a different board and some other things to do. So it's just 1.5. So I want to okay. check it out. Yeah, Dune. Because you know game. what they said. Because you know what they said they were gonna do, Stella. You know how you know uh, Direwolf does for uh you know clank mm. they have different maps and things yeah. like that yeah. they're gonna do the same thing with this oh, one okay yes, well that's you know. gonna be awesome. yeah it's gonna be that's yeah. gonna be really cool i'm looking how, forward to that how they do different things with clank they're gonna do it with we'll doing do. imperium okay, do. so but you know also i want to tell you now mr beast y'all heard about mr beast he had a kind of mm -hmm. secretive well i think tournament mm -hmm. with doing imperium uprising yeah and he, he he supposedly brought in all these you know expert players. <laughs> yeah. And then all of a sudden he won. Mm. He won. He won his own. That's a little sus. That's a little <laughs> sus, family. I'm just oh. saying that's a little sus. All right, Mr. Beast. That's a little sus, Mr. Beast. You know <laughs> he got the ten thousand dollars and he gonna give away to charity and he won. <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. I don't know. Now this one. This on me, family. This on me, family. Okay. This is on me. Okay, how so? This rally man, uh -huh, GT. Huh? What about it? What? I, I bought this. Mm. This on me. I bought it. But see, this is the reason why. Okay. This 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 this, oh, here, this let, let me hear let me hear. This the is reason. why. This is why. Hear. Now this was made by Holy Grail Games. Mm -hmm. They gone. Mm -hmm. They no longer exist. They don't exist. They okay. don't exist. And you had to buy something. Amazon Prime Day. Amazon Prime Day, they had this on sale. It was very cheap. Uh -huh. And I, you know, I like racing games. Oh, yeah. And this is, they said this is a pretty cool racing, racing games. Game. And yeah. strategy games. Yes. And worker placement games and card games. And 
Okay, I'm sorry. This, I digress. It's, not, it's basically not going to be coming out no more. Oh, so we had to have it? So we had to have it. We had to have it. Because Holy Grail Gang gone away. We had to have so it. So I had to get it. Yeah, you had to do it. I had to do it. Yes. So that yes. Yeah, so Rally Man GT <laughs> racing game with dice. I want to check it out. I want to right. check it out. All so right. yes, it's, it looks it's cool though. Okay. They say it's really cool. All right. So, so somebody said you know about it. You know now I have the Holy Trinity of racing games. I got Downforce. Mm -hmm. I got Heat. And, and now I got Rally right. Man. <laughs> yes. There you go. There you go. All right. So that's what that's, that's all it? I got. It's a lot though. That was a lot. That's what I got. <laughs> Yeah, so I want to thank everybody that sent all the games. Yes, and then thank you me, so much. Yes, and then me, I bought and one. And then, yeah, thank yeah. yourself. Thank you, thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. Thank <laughs> For you. adding more games, yes. yes. Now, Starla, where can they find OFPG out here? Where can they find <laughs> us? OFPG Voices and OFPG. Where can they find us out here in the world? Well, if you're looking for Our Family Plays Games, yes. or OFPG Voices, yes. you can find us on Facebook, uh -huh. Instagram, yes. Twitter, uh -huh. right here on YouTube, right here, and TikTok. TikTok, TikTok. Yeah. And if you're in Omaha, Nebraska. That's local, family. You can find us on Cox Channel 22. Yes. Saturdays at 8.30 p.m. Uh -huh. and Tuesdays at 4.30 p.m. Family, thank you so much for coming out and checking us out. And, and we just talking about games and we got a load of games yes. dumped on us and everything <laughs> that we enjoy. Hey, but thank you for coming out. Now, if you have any questions or comments, mm -hmm. please put them down below. And if you have any Ask or PG questions, Give us that too, because we love answering them. Mm -hmm. But family, you know the one thing we want you to always know. We love you. Bye, Bye everybody. Now.